are now tuned in to Black Ink Radio. Turn up. The hottest station in the nation. Yes, y'all. Yes, sir. I had to clip the blunt real quick because I ain't want to choke on y'all. But y'all already know it's your girl Skittles and not for nothing. We're back again with another episode of Pillow Talk with Skittles. And let me tell you. This season episode three. is definitely the beginning of season three. It's so crazy how we already at season three. Like, yeah, I feel like these seasons just keep coming and coming and coming and coming and coming. Yep. But I fuck with each and every one of y'all that have been up here. I appreciate y'all for taking y'all time out to come up here, share y'all story, and get real extra spicy with me for tea time. Yes. But today is going to be like... What recap. I, it's yeah. going to be like a I recap. I said free ball earlier, and we all <laughs> talked about being butt-ass naked under our clothes because we ain't got no drawers on today. Took a left but immediately. <laughs> today, we just going to sit here, and we just going to go off the top of the dome. I just want to recap a lot of stuff from season two. Yep. Um, I definitely want to talk about some stuff for season three. Um, I definitely want to chime in and see how everybody Valentine's Day, everybody's side bitch and side nigga day was. You know what I'm saying? So like, sorry. I went to see. Oh, because me and C had a hard weekend this weekend. Baby, I'll I get to that about story that. later. Let me tell you. <laughs> we were stressed about to beat niggas up downtown. You don't even Super stressed. Like, I'm getting yeah. an immediate call, five missed calls. I'm like, Yo, what's going on? Crazy. Like, for crazy. Real, for real. But hey, hey, how you doing, friend? Ain't see you in forever. <laughs> hey. Yes, so definitely recap season two. Like, how did y'all think season two went compared to season one? Like, what's y'all give and take or that on it? I mean, no, uh, no shades to none of the guests from season one. Everybody was always dope. Besides like, the capper, can we talk about the capper since the oh, season Oh, we had a capper in season one? Because I definitely was been waiting Was that season one or season two? A, that was, was season, season one. Two. No, season no, season two. two. That season all happened two. in season two. It definitely wow, did. damn. Yeah. See, shit, it's time So can we do that? All right, so let me just bring y'all up to speed. I did an interview, and you know... If you guys feel sorry or if the person feels bad that I'm bringing up, I apologize respectfully, but I kind of don't because y'all know for? this is what the fuck I do. So I'm going to speak my mind. And I had a full-fledged Nigga, capper. Capper. And when I mean capper, I'm talking yeah, about yeah, big yeah, cap, okay? Yeah. First of all, I interviewed Vigilante, who... Ooh. Um, yeah, we gonna put the name like that's what we do. Um, so I interviewed Vigilante, yeah. um, which I thought outside of the capping was a decent interview. You understand what I'm saying? Like yeah, the only does, problem is what that does is it kind of like it takes away from the validation of the half whole of interview. The shit that he said. Yeah, because now we, I don't know <laughs> how true it is. I don't know if it's real or not. He was your executive boy came producing. Up here, baby. He he's the person who picks the songs. Baby. He was the director. He was the casting guy. He was the guy. reason he why the motherfuckers, main. um, they career started. Yeah, he started 20 people. That's what I heard. Well, that's what he said, right? So he came up here, and in the midst of our interview, we were talking about Elijah Lamar from BMF. Shout out to Elijah. And, um, you know, we weren't even talking about Elijah. We were talking to Vigilante about people he started and people he's worked with and yeah, he and I, automatically brought, up, Eli brought yeah. up elijah's name and was like oh yeah i know that dude because i helped start his career yeah, yeah. boom so we found out because you know even though y'all may not see a thousand or a million views on the fucking thing that motherfuckers really not do yet. watch this shit okay they build them. and elijah seen it <laughs> And then he was on the show. And he was on the show. And I made for a and better interview, And I think interview it was too. like two weeks later or some shit like that. Literally, Literally. Was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I got here and your boy was like, find it. I'm like, oh shit. So we now on YouTube and, and we, we find it through. and we scrolling through. Mm -hmm. the time. And we found it where you sat there and said you started this man's career. And <laughs> then the... Not to say the highlight, but to be messy, the spicy part of the fucking situation spicy. was the fact Super that spicy. Lamar, Elijah, called this man uh -huh. right here. On the spot. On the spot in front of us. Yeah. Like, and we recorded it. I'm not going to say who got the tape. <laughs> the <laughs> tape is sad, out. But the, the tape, tape is the tape. there. The tape. But we got the receipts, okay? The receipts like, and definitely you capped. 
And the whole conversation was like, yeah, but what I was trying to, and it was, he tried to sit there and reverse it and say it was so many people up here. It was so much talking. The and big he, guy in the corner kept right, talking. Right, kept talking over him. Not the big guy, but yeah. <laughs> it, was and it, was it was five people and everybody was talking over each other and all of that. But clearly, sir, we have the, the tape. tape. <laughs> and it's on fucking YouTube. Yeah. And for those who don't know, you can go and rewatch every motherfucking episode on YouTube. Type in Pillow Talk with Skittles, Black Ink Radio. Yeah. It's up there. If y'all think mm -hmm. I'm lying, real shit. And the crazy thing was Elijah even sat there and stated on his interview how his career started. He right. definitely had to clarify. And so that you interview was definitely crazy. did not Start have no career. fucking parts of that, bro. So yes, you know, Pillow Talk with Skittles, we definitely had our first capper. Um, yeah, that that first was definitely. Calum Kaepernick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that was definitely dope. He took a knee that day too. That definitely did. Dope. He took like, in real time, in real yeah. time. Yo, he said, "I just want to say, I just want to say, um, take a deep breath." Right. Just think about this. Take a deep breath, nigga. Stop lying. Man, listen. Oh, um, man. What else you think from season two? Season two. I, I want to. I do want to take people. this time to say, and you know, when you brought up the views, I do want to say this. You know, um, I have access to our listeners on the app. I have access to our website clicks and everything. Mm. Um, uh, you know, when we're on here, a lot of people are listening via the app. Yeah. People are listening mm. because you're not driving and putting on YouTube. Right. You know what I'm right. saying? If you're in your crib and you're doing stuff, you're not listening via YouTube. Right. You, you got your phone, you turn your phone on and you, you listen. You just listen to You understand it. what I'm saying? So the right. views are people who are actually sitting at home and have time to watch Which is YouTube, not a lot of people. Which right. is not a lot of people. Because I know I don't. Yeah, and, and this is radio. You don't necessarily need to watch what's going on. Right. So true. let's get it straight. There are a lot of people are listening. I get a lot of feedback. So... You know, What's the feedback? What huh? they be saying? Oh, they love it. You know, they oh, love okay. it. A lot yep. of people can't wait for Because you know, two if time. motherfuckers got shit to say, tell me. Oh, no, nah, they ain't got nothing, nothing oh, bad to say. Right. You know, a lot she of people love you. Down. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. <laughs> they, think they can't they wait to get next to Skittles. <laughs> they think they love me. They don't know me. They don't know. Mm -mm. They don't know. No, but definitely what I found, I think, was very cool and funny also <clears throat> season two is when i had my people from kentucky come out here that did jay happen. Yep. jay and them i think were definitely was one of my funniest interviews oh, yeah. because was... they're from kentucky you know what i'm saying they really cool kids they really good at doing music and stuff like that but they're still shy yeah. you know what i'm saying like they not the row you know what i'm saying right, like right, my right. big mouth ass i think was just a lot you know what I'm saying? But a what made it table. worse, it wasn't even that. I think what made it worse was that they were smoking. Mm -hmm. And they smoked like a blunt and a half before yep. we even started. So by the time I got the question in them, they was like, huh. uh, Exactly. Yeah. But we took care of them. Um, we, got, we had the wings yeah. afterwards. Like, yeah, we definitely we had, had, the, had, we had the wings. Yo, shout out to Felicia. Shout out to Felicia. Shout out to you. I feel some type of way because you done left and went back to Houston. She went to Houston. Guess what? What? I'm going to Houston soon. Hey. So I'm going to get some to wings. <laughs> Ain't you supposed can, to be on a fucking can, water diet now? Not then. <laughs> not then this I won't be. Just said, yep, I started back. I took two days off. Now this yeah, nigga want to throw I, in yeah, my face at my motherfucking listen, wings. On March 5th, I will not be on any type of diet. All right, Lit. when you coming back? Probably like the seventh. Let me tell you Lit. something. I'm gonna send you my money in bring cash out wings. and you bring them shits back because on the you. flights now, yep. y'all can bring food and shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna so have to do that. I need like 40 piece. I, I pay you. for oh, a pen. Yeah, we got to get, we got to get Because you know, a, a my box. baby wants some too. Like, we was in there Everybody. scooping up the Bro, we got to get like a, a 200 piece. Listen, it's a Felicia, nice box. if you're watching this, sis, you're gonna have coming. to get ready yep. because I need mines. I'm mad you just up and left me. We had some of her food here for the season one finale party. Yup, she oh, took man. care of us too. Yo, we had a whole pan. It was like wings and tenders. Oh, and man. she does like this lemon pepper sweet heat sauce. Oh, man. And she's from Lit. Houston. So you know, you know that shit is good. Like, oh my God. And she got her own sauce she Fire. made up. And she cute. Like, for real, for real. Y'all go look at the grand. She a little cute. <laughs> Hell Fire. yeah. And then definitely, I want to definitely say shout out the Nightlight, the plug, because yep. season two, because of Nightlight and my boy Twin Dollars, shout we, out to Twin. I hosted Hennessy's birthday party. 
Friday and, and Saturday. Both back days. Back to back. Like, nigga, we was outside. All the way. I was tired. Window you know, I, Oh, my God. Outside. I was exhausted on Sunday. Like, oh, dinner yeah. wasn't done till like, 10. <laughs> I was tired as shit. Yeah, Saturday bro. was lit. Man, we oh, were so fucking outside, and I just had a good time because there's different... You are now tuned You go pressing shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the plug in the app. Like, Make sure you download the app. Right, right. <laughs> why you had it, right? No, it was definitely dope because, you know, Hennessy and Cardi, they sisters. Y'all know they both from Highbridge. For those that don't know, I'm from Highbridge. Big um, facts. 169 Ogden motherfucker Miriam uh, Avenue you already know but um I'm like way older than them do you know what I'm saying like I'm about to be 36 so it wasn't like we was outside playing together like hey best friend like no, no it wasn't so it was like definitely like getting to chill with her and see her and you know being her element of turning up I was right. like yes right. and then once me and her cuz I know Cardi you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. I haven't seen her in a while but I definitely know Cardi yeah and it was like once Hennessy found out, like, oh shit, that's Skittles. Skittles, you from Highbridge? Wait, yeah. we're from Highbridge. Yeah. She's like, girl, I'm from. Nothing. I had to I said, make girl, sure. I know where you from. I had to make like, sure that happened that night. Just and because. she was like, what? We bitches now. I was like, exactly. but you been my bitch. But if you didn't know, I appreciate you for giving me my bitch back. Like, so we we are mutual bitches. I fuck with you. So shout Big out to facts. Hennessy. Shout out she to Hennessy. She definitely turned up. We had fun that night too. It was like, crazy. Especially in KOD. The whole night is recorded we too. We was lit. Yes. Uh -oh. Shout out to my camera team Everything. because. It was they Yo, shout out to Josh. All the video, everything from start to finish, the footage, everything. Since, and then yep. shout out too to Josh because they covered the, the BMF stuff for us. Yep. So you know oh, we okay, went yeah. to, you were there with us yeah, when yeah, we yeah. went to Atrium mm -hmm. and we covered the BMF takeover with Lil Meech. And I had a little attitude because I was like, why is Lil Meech so distant? Like, why are you all the way over here in the section? Like. Nigga, do you know that people came out here to see you? And then we couldn't even see you. I don't know how tall you is, but I'm kind of tall and I couldn't see you. And then they was like, oh, he over there with the white on. And I'm like, oh, now I see him. Like, you all Max the way security, over though. There. Max I security. I get it. I get it. You know, you famous and all of that stuff. But you know, some of us regular motherfuckers, like, we wanted to see you. You know, hey, take Good. a little picture. Even if I was up here and you was in the back, like, move up so I can take a selfie or something. Mm. Like, but, but it's that's all right. crazy. That's crazy how that whole the whole thing happened, too. He found the closest wall to the door. <laughs> he definitely Yo, did. He definitely he did. It up. It's like, as soon as you walk in, whoop, that wall. And right then there. it was crazy mm -hmm. because we was all on one side. And then, like, we was all turned up. And then, like, a whole bunch of the BMF people walked in and walked we were trying heavy. to figure in like which one is him which one is him which one is him and then we on the other side and then somebody comes to me oh he about to walk in on this side. i'm like shit i thought he was already over here like hey, i don't fucking... keep him guessing man listen y'all y'all like thieves in the night y'all be sliding like Slipping i need to be sliding. like that because let me tell you something it's hard for me to motherfucker walk in the place and walk out with nobody fucking noticing me and you hosting yeah Nigga, like you know what I'm saying. I thought the nigga was gonna come up on the stage, maybe real quick or something. Nah, like, nah, it's a different vibe. I don't but, know, you know, but I was like, it's like he, he probably put took at least uh, at the most twenty steps into the building. Nah, it, and it, that was it. Nah, he was really low he key. Was yeah, in there. Nah, I know. So, yeah. Like, he in, was but what in I'm there. trying to say is, he he didn't come near that stage. Like, he no, came, he came near the stage when he was leaving oh, because he okay. came up the stage yeah, and they walked up. out uh, in the back. Oh, that's the, that was his exit. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was Shout just like, damn. But it's all right, because Lil Meech, one day, I'm going to see you, and you're going to remember me and my ghetto-ass motherfucking voice, and you're going to know that my name is Skittles, and I need my picture, please. Thank you. I appreciate it, because, you know, I was looking forward to it that day. But it's cool. Mm. I'm going to give you some time to get it together. But um, what else we had going we on? We also had Lion that came in from Brooklyn. We also yes. had your boy uh, Midnight that oh, actually Lion, flew Lion. in. Lion is so dope. Mm -hmm. Like, if y'all don't know, her thing is I Am Pretty Lion on Instagram. Mm -hmm. And she is, like, so cute. Shout out to her because she's definitely from the town. Shout out to Brooklyn. BK. Okay. And she is, like, young. And I really like everything that she's doing. You know what I'm saying? I really think that she's dope or whatever. She really be outside. And I like it Facts. because she's not really raunchy. But still right. sexy at right, the right, same right, time. Right. You Different know what style. I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you could talk about fucking in a second. But then when you come outside and look some type of way, it's like, oh. 
that she came had, out of her. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? She had a great saying? stage be, presence, too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I, I missed the performance yeah. when she was at V-Live. Yeah. I mean, not V-Live. Um, uh, Vivid. Vivid, which is the old V-Live, yeah. Um, so, yeah, shout out to her. And I definitely enjoyed Tanya. Oh, yes. My yeah. little friend. Tanya. I love yeah. her. Tanya. started from so, the Hennessy uh, birthday yes, party. Yes, because we, we up met there. Tanya. I met her for the first time at Hennessy's party. Yep. And y'all, it y'all always wilding. shout out to... We were not wowing. What do y'all consider to be wowing? They was having a good was, okay, my bad. time. I mean, a really Once good time. Once my clothes come off, good then time, it's all this wilding. bitch is wowing. Okay? Okay, like, okay? Even though I did have on the CD dress, so I didn't that have to really take night. nothing off. But you did. But it was cute and shout out the weed because if it wasn't for the weed, like we really we was chilling and vibing, but like it started with a you got weed, you got a Dutch, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like and she was like, I got weed and I was like, Shit, I'm gonna go look in the bathroom and see if the bathroom person got the blunt. Mm-hmm. And the next thing you know, I'm shaking my ass and they the shout out to Bruce. Bruce, you got it yep. on shout Instagram. He got all of the okay. camera pictures yeah. and he just got me licking the dud ass. Shaking the whole ass. Night. Oh, wow. And the then you night. know she's so cute and little, and then you know I'm not gonna stand up tall next to her. Like right, that's right. my bitch. I'm about to come down there with you. We gonna yeah. have fun. So they, so, so they literally, literally twerking at the same level. The couch, right. So mind like, you, yo. Rich, I ain't seen none, none of this happen because this is all before Hennessy Car- uh, came Carolina in. came in. Mm-hmm. So before it was kind of dead to some people in the section. I yeah. leave. I go to the bathroom. I come back, and then Skittle starts twerking, and, and then Tanya is right next to her. And, they start working, and then Bruce comes in with the camera, it and then over. after that, then Hennessy comes in. I'm just like, yo, it it just went. And then from we were standing on the couches. Sitting on couches. I, I'm gonna be honest, like I seen the video, you know, I right? Saw, I saw the footage, the tape. Right. It's on my Instagram, y'all. y'all right. I saw the tape, yeah. and I didn't know she was a little person because mm-hmm. y'all were definitely on the same level. Same level. Yeah. I, yeah. Didn't, I didn't know until the interview. Mm-hmm. Right. That she was a little person, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? And then I didn't like her because she's real as fuck. You Super know what real. I'm saying? And I like everything that she's doing. You know what I'm saying? And then sometimes some people, you know, which was a p- positive. Like I asked her, like, was she ever teased or being picked on growing up? And she right. was like, no. And I was like, that's definitely dope because you know, motherfuckers ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? At Especially all. fucking kids. You going to mm-hmm. school. You, you know what I'm saying? It. Like you gonna hear some shit. You feel me? Like. And she definitely never had to go through like none of the the hard and the bullshit or whatever. And right, she's she kept just like a, a sweet person. Like she's really, really cool. Mm-hmm. Like she kept it real all throughout. And, and then she, let she me also touch her butt. And I was that like, also happened multiple times. <laughs> and then she also brought her business on too. So also for the for the podcast space, we're looking for different businesses. If you're an artist, sponsors, whatever the case, yes. sponsors, and then also talk about your business too. We want to create mm-hmm. that platform just so you can reach out to other people yep. on the app, on YouTube, whatever the case may be. We're trying to reach out to business owners just so you know the whole circle comes full circle. You know what I mean? Promotion, yeah, and not for everything. nothing too. It's like we all got our regular friends. Exactly. But honestly, our regular friends don't be the ones that push us. You understand what I'm saying? It be motherfuckers that we don't know. Mm-hmm. You understand that be the people that you network with. So not for nothing, be your besties and leave your friends. And, and come and down a pillow not, talk. Right. And not for nothing, if they not um, pushing you to do something better or they don't see something in you to be like, friend, you know, you do good here. Do some motherfucking here. Oh, you cook. Bitch, sell some plates. They don't. Whatever yeah. it is. Like, if a motherfucker is not pushing you, I don't even want you to fuck around me. You understand what I'm saying? Just have a time we on. Yeah, for those that know me, y'all see me with the same people and my pictures it'll be the same people unless I'm at an event or I'm interviewing mm-hmm. with people and not for nothing I'm gonna be in the room with a bunch of people that I don't know that's doing something and we could possibly make some money together cause that's all the fuck I really be thinking about you understand not for nothing that's every room we've been in for the past like season 2 season 1 even season 1 it's just like yo, every when room we did we, the Trey Young through. sneaker release that yep. was season 1 that you was understand? season 1 like, we went to Trey Young and then there was a whole bunch of different influencers mm-hmm. that was there I got the Robbie's plug from my World was yep, there. Robbie World was there. I'm gonna see if I get the the organizer out here. I he's from Queens. Man, he's from Queens he's too. He's really dope. From Queens, mm-hmm. and he does all the events for like Little Baby when he did the Little Baby and Foot Locker joint. Mm-hmm. Um, he did the event for Allen Iverson over in um, L.A. He also did something for the Super Bowl as well. So That's fire. I'm gonna yeah. make sure I'm gonna reach out to him, see if we get him <laughs> on the show. 
and then let him talk his piece because he's been doing it for a minute. He's around Mike Will, Ray Stremmer, all of them. All of them, yeah. Gunna, mm -hmm. everybody out he's here in really, Atlanta. really, plugged in, for Super real, plugged. for real. Like, that's Way the from plug. Queens, representing yeah. Queens yeah. all day. Laid back, like, real chill. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I like that. So you know how when you see the nigga that always going to be extra and then don't be about nothing? Like, yeah. Because mm -mm. he's from Queens, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, every boy, day. We go. nah. right. You got to do that one time. All got right, to. yeah. But mm -hmm. who else do we have? Like, oh, we also have Mobbing. We also I was Marvin. just about to speak on Marvin. Marvin mm -hmm. was definitely a dope interview. Yeah. Shout out to Marvin because he came all the way from the Bay Area. Cali. From Cali to come to And I was stuck. Like, what? And it was crazy because originally he was doing Shout an interview Rich with Rich. Mo. And then, I don't know how I came into play. He wanted to be next to you. He said, he said hey. his exact words was, can, can, Skittles, uh, can, 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 Skittles? You, can Skittles sit in on the interview? Mm -hmm. I said, you could just we could just do it then. Hey, yeah, just do it like right that. Hey, yeah, shout out to Mobbin. Like, he was definitely a dope interview. Yeah. He definitely got a lot of shit going on. Like, this nigga Facts. got the whole indoor outdoor farm and growing and all of the weed strands. And you could go, you want to make your own weed strand, you could go to that guy. You understand what I'm yeah. saying? Like, you could do all of that shit. Um, then he also has like the dog kennels and everything like he does the dog breeding and stuff mm -hmm. like that that is really dope or whatever like and like that was the first day that i met him ever knew about him you know what i'm saying i followed him on the gram from once we found out about doing the interview and i explained to him about our trip to dr and we went from here before coming to vivid and your man was like um apple pay i'm coming like he was not on playing. the spot on the spot on like, the spot. Um, like i'm eating yeah i'm eating, I'm eating and this nigga's gonna be apple oil, pay. and he's like, like i sent right I'm like, oh, okay so yeah right. and for those that don't know and I just spoke to one of the people that um, do the coordinating and promoting or whatever for Memorial Day weekend getaway. For those that don't know, it's an event that Big Tigger does every year for Memorial Day weekend. Um, and this will be my fourth year attending. Um, I've been the first year drunk. I went the second year drunk. The third year brought my kid. And this year, I'm going to bring my nigga and my kids. You understand what I'm Fair. saying? So it's definitely going to be dope. But for those that don't know, Memorial Day weekend is the weekend to get shit faced. Okay. When Fendi. we was in high school, Memorial Day weekend, niggas was at Bike Fest, Virginia, Virginia Beach. We was in Miami yeah, until Miami everywhere. came to New York. And then that was over. Mm. And, um, you know, it's definitely dope to be in fucking Dominican Republic for fucking Memorial Day weekend. Facts, I ain't and never been there yet, so you know. I'm you never been to DR? No. Baby, the bitches? Nigga. Got the sabe. Nigga, I told my, I told my nigga like, babe. The bitches. It's going down. The bitches? I can't say it's going down. It depends on how selective we feel like being. You selective, know what I'm saying? You, you got choices. You know. Uh, no. Yeah, because literally no. they're choices. Like, real it's life Tinder. Crazy you just like how it is no, out there. Her. Like, for it's real, for real. And this year, I got it to where Pillow Talk with Skittles <laughs> will be covering media hey. in Dominican Republic, Puerto Plata. Six days, motherfuckers. So y'all better drink all the water. All the water. Y'all better not do no Agua. drugs besides me. You know what I'm saying? And then wait till you get there to do all of that shit. You know what I'm saying? Because it's so fucking lit. Six days, five nights, Memorial Day weekend getaway. You can follow them on Instagram at Memorial Day Getaway. And they you could go on a link. You could go and book rooms. You could get village. You could get um, oh, what wow. I had last time, presidential suites. Like, the shit is fire. But us, specifically, right. we will be in a six-bedroom villa. Pool in the back. Outdoor kitchen. Outdoor shop with, Sound you like know a movie. what I'm saying? Golf like cart. All you can eat. All you can drink. The trip in the um, resort is all-inclusive. So, yeah, we gonna be fucked up from the time I get there. Like, I'm drinking presidential beers from the fucking airport. Like, these niggas be lit as fuck. Let me tell you something. And we even got the tour guide dude that's from out there that be taking us off the resort to, to the, the town. Spots. Like, so when I mean to the town, I'm talking about we going to Sasua. 
and we go into the the strip clubs and where the bitches be at and all of the hookah spots. And yes, it's sir. lit as fuck, like Litty. for real, for real. So those who don't know and do want to go, make sure you hit Memorial Day weekend getaway, or you can hit me up and I'll go through my people, seeing what type of deals or whatever I could get for you guys from Pillow Talk with Skittles to y'all. Um, but Rich, make sure you got your passport. Make I sure, you, do. make sure mm. your girl know. You know what I'm saying? Like it's going we, down. It's, it's at, we outside. Six All days, away. five nights, okay? Y'all and not <laughs> gonna wanna fucking miss this shit, for real. So, for season three. Season three, where, where are we going for season three? Uh, we're going everywhere. But before we everywhere. get into three, let me just let you know, it was very, very dope to have fucking Shorty Low Jr. up here last Thursday. Facts for the fi- finale. Like, for the finale, I mm-hmm. think that was super dope. So, shout out to Shorty Low Jr. for coming up here. I can't wait till March 22nd to your dad's birthday. He have a whole weekend, a week of events that he's doing, EP coming, and all of that shit. So, definitely, y'all and gonna see me tap in with that. He gonna be at the Flame, too. Yes. Shout out to the Flame gang. Shout y'all already flame. know. Um, so, he's definitely gonna be doing his dad's birthday party at Blue Flame. Shout out the motherfucking Swamp Izzo. Swamp Izzo. Yes. So it's going to be lit. And like for season three, I definitely got some little new things that I wanted to do. You guys know we've been talking about Cheeks of the Week. Shout out to my boy Crip Curry over Shout there Curry. for making sure he go and get the Cheeks of the Week for the we girl. Appreciate I that. appreciate you. Yes, sir. Yes. And we're definitely going to bring our Cheeks of the Week to up in a few. I just want to let you guys know so make sure y'all ready okay and for season three like it's gonna be definitely a little bit more like i said we've had our um zoom meeting with Mm -hmm. china monet and um season two and now that we got that situated we understand how to do everything or whatever so now it's gonna be dope because i have thousands of people that i know that do not be in the a Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, I can definitely now tap in with them, people from all over, overseas, everything. And y'all going to really get some dope-ass fucking interviews for this Facts. season. Um, definitely starting with next week. Next yeah. fucking week, I have my boo thing, like my original boo thing, Cakey. Cakey, But not yep, me, Cakey, Cakey. Like, the like, one, yep, the only one. Cakey. There's only one only motherfucking one. Cakey. Like, only one. that bitch name is Cakey. Like, she got cake. Like, that ass is huge. <laughs> like, that shit is heavy. Jesus. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, my God. Like, I, every time I see her, I be like, friend, let me touch it. Like, let me just, let me t- I ain't touch it in a way. Let me touch it, friend. Let me touch it. Yeah, Wait, but she, I got- she doing it through Zoom now? No, baby girl will Person. be here. I got her So, coming. for the star power that we're getting and the people that we're bringing in, we're expanding from season one to two and three is going to be on, whole, on a whole nother level. Mm-hmm. So we definitely, I was talking to Skittles and, you know, just letting her know we're looking to take it to another level. So we're going to need to add some pieces mm-hmm. to it. So Cheeks of the Week, definitely. Is and one then of them. Um, as far as the coordination, I know you had Valentine's, right? So mm-hmm. someone helped you out with that. Yes. Mm-hmm. So before, um, I know, Rich, you know, you're the producer of mm-hmm. the Black Ink or whatever. And recently we just met Cece. So I want to bring Cece up. Come on, girl. Let's go. Yeah, like, come, come on. Sit down. Take a right. seat. So I want Have everybody fun. to meet Cece. Shout out to Cece. Right. And, um... Cece is, I would say, like the production coordinator because mm-hmm. she kind of helped Rich do, you know, certain things behind the scenes and little stuff and, you know, still in the making with a lot of things or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So I um, just wanted you guys to, you know, meet her as well so right. you guys can see, like, outside of Miguel, who does a lot of behind the scenes stuff and a lot of the pictures and video work and stuff like that, she also is one of the people that does a lot of the behind the scenes stuff right. um she's also at a lot of stuff a lot right. of events i always see you at you always partaking in stuff um i also know you got your little boutique and stuff that you got going on and this girl got a fucking beauty supply store so let me tell you something she's like a female's best fucking friend let me tell you <laughs> yeah. something okay yep. so i definitely want to you know introduce you to the people so people know who we're all also getting behind the yes, scene footage absolutely, from absolutely. yes and I definitely appreciate you as well 
for you know doing all of the stuff that you do and for even helping rich with stuff and for things that he may need moving forward that right. you will be hands on with um so hopefully you stick around because oh, you know some mean, people now. be like oh yeah we no, gonna no, no. do do and then i'll be like so what happened to no. yeah. Like, yeah yeah i'm too yeah. vital at this point you know i done dug myself you look at my page my page people are like so confused like so what are you really doing with like, <laughs> yeah you're promoting all of these radio shows you're promoting all of this stuff like i thought you had your own stuff going on and i do right, right. i'm just utilizing my resources right. and offering Absolutely. it exclusively to the people that I work with. Right. Instead of having it offered to the public and overwhelming myself. Right. Mm -hmm. It's just exclusive. So right. I can be your personal stylist. You can get all your makeup from me, your hair from me. I do mm -hmm. websites. Like, you know. Yeah, she yeah. do a bunch like of things. And let me things. tell y'all something. So Valentine's Day was this Ooh. weekend. And I hope everybody had a Valentine, a good Valentine's. And I had an amazing Valentine's. But yes. the preparation for oh my, my Valentine's. Like, let me explain something to you and i have to light my blunt because this is how about fucking to get serious you know, detail it was, it was so, so it was really first off i want to really shout out stressful. c because c for one was like girl i told her i was like yo i'm gonna get a suite for my dude you know what i'm saying decorate the suite out and all that because you know niggas is not used to having no girl do no shit for them that a nigga do for girls you know That's what i'm saying fact. right right mm. My bad, I had to pull him. And I love my nigga, so therefore you gotta make sure your nigga know that you appreciate the nigga. You know what I'm saying? So I sat there and told C what I was doing, and she was like, girl, I got the plug, we could get the rooms. I said, all right, cool. Then we go, we made, and it was good that we had a backup plan because we made mm -hmm. two reservations at two different hotels. Same day, same time, same shit. Just in case one didn't work. So we got the one, they wasn't jacking our discount, they wasn't jacking shit, they was just being real extra. And the bitch at the counter oh. was just like, Ugh. it was just so crazy. Like, if I wasn't trying to be a mature adult, I would have went Bronx on her. Like, you understand? Real what I'm quick, saying? and that's like, not good. No. Because we're in Atlanta, we're not in the BX, and no, shit no. different. She was just like, real, real being her a bitch. attitude was that's like it. horrible. She was just being a bitch. And, um, we said, fuck it, we gonna go to the other hotel. We called them ahead of time, make sure everything was cool. We get there. It was something wrong with the paper that we had. We tried to fix it. Then I had gave her the money to put on her car, being that yeah. she was the person doing it. You know what I'm saying? These motherfuckers swiped her card and then told her we can't take it. That's crazy. Yes. So wow. all of the fucking money oh my that God. I had gave her oh my was gosh. gone. And I was why like, would it, why, why, why they couldn't do it? Okay, so I have, like, my dad passed away. So we Sorry have, like, the power of his estate. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And so we have, like, you know, his estate is, like, over to me since I'm his right. oldest girl. So I had, like, one of the, the cards that I use. I use it on a daily, and I don't be thinking about, like, the it match. having his name on it. On I the completely card. forget that um. his name is on there. Because when we went to the first hotel, they didn't they say allowed nothing. They to allowed use it. that card. Mm. But when we went to the second hotel, they did, he swiped the card, and then he was like, oh, I can't take and it. And then looked at it. And I'm like, bro, what the heck? Like, are you but serious? then now, mind you, you know, once it's swiped, it's swiped. Yeah, that's yeah. So come now back for my four hundred dollars is still it's pending. Just pending. That's it. It's just you pending. understand what I'm, I'm like, saying? Oh so God. now I'm sitting outside the hotel. I got garbage bags full of balloons. <laughs> All of this shit, a suitcase in the back full of all my little knickknacks, roses, and all types of shit. And these motherfuckers is trying to play games. I nice. parked the car and put my headlights on, and I came to fucking the hotel. Like, y'all got me fucked up. It's something that could be done. You understand what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like, and I just went through hell and hot water. Oh it was so it was a lot. fucking And that's crazy. when I got that call, like, five minutes ago. First I wasn't of all, even he there. got the call at, like, 9 o'clock. Yeah, I wasn't there. We didn't there. even I was like, get into a fucking room until 11. Yeah. Yeah, it was crazy. Wow. It was crazy. So was she bad. called me, and I'm why like. Why y'all ain't called me? We didn't know the call I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, but I was like. We didn't know. And then it was Saturday. It was a lot. It was a lot. It was a lot. And we was out here in Buckhead. And we were in Buckhead. I got, Buckhead. I got the 125 for two nights in the middle of motherfucking city hookup. Uh, what are it's we talking about? Here? And he had his own button. One twenty-five for two nights. Oh yeah, two nights, Liddy. For two Liddy. nights, and then it don't matter when it is. All right, I'm gonna need. And you ain't dealing like with no front desk. My nigga gonna pull up here with your card, with your two cards oh, okay, and your parking you. pass. I got you. 
got you. Mm-hmm. I got you feel you. me? And yeah, I'm talking about them fact. downtown hotels yeah, right around here. I got here. you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm thinking, yeah. so I'm going to need that. Time. And yeah. like, that's why it's important to use a network. Yeah. Make your network. So, so yeah. You gotta do that. But gotta I do did that. still have a very, very, very good thing. I'm um, Thanksgiving. Look so you actually ended downtown. up getting into a room. Basically. I actually did get into a room. Yeah, so shout out to you because, like I said, I wasn't even there. I was two hours out. From oh, yeah, Buckhead, so I was nowhere close, but definitely shout out to you yeah, uh, for just teamwork. handling the situation and for I'll sure. Yeah. And then no she doubt. came upstairs with me, helped me decorate, mm-hmm. oh, whatever the so case may be. Nice. So it was, it was cute. So nice. I had ordered like um, <coughs> blue and red roses, you know, and put all over the floor, and I got red and purple balloons. She is pre- When I tell and you the super creative. creative. Oh my gosh! Yep. I was so I said you got all. The, she was like Amazon, Amazon, Amazon. These yes, were like seven dollars. Everything was from These Amazon. Were, she like that so all day, <laughs> all day. Excuse me. You are resourceful. Man, let me all tell day. you. I went and got the fruits. I got the chocolate things she to melt to dip the fruits out. in. Yeah. I got his bottle. Got a bottle of champagne. <clears> like I had the breakfast set up for the next day. Like oh. I brought the lingerie. I had two outfits for him to pick from. Dope. I had a whole box of condoms. Um, I nigga told said <laughs> the whole thing I had the tea like candles all over the place yeah. like it was it very was nice. and that wasn't even his gift yeah that wasn't okay that was just like that was I'm just the, the thing oh, like, you, you know, understand what I'm saying yeah, like yeah good. like it was definitely dope I had fun we went and did couple massages like we got there oh, at like 6 nice. 30 and left at like 9 15 when I mean these people touched every part of me except for my vajay day and my asshole ah. like oh my god the motherfuckers were amazing like shout out to them oh my god it's the, i forgot the name of the spa place but it's off it's right near near um cumberland mall oh. down before you get to main so event and shit it. like that okay. is about a, in the plaza with the hagen dolls ice cream you know okay. my greedy ass i remember the food she's like the hagen dolls right there it's, it's i love right hagen dolls it's right yeah, there and nice. the same thing Shit was so fucking good. Like, when I mean, these niggas massaged my scalp. And I had box braids. And the bitch took my braids down and, like, in my scalp. I was like, damn, bitch. Like, I love you. (laughs) Like, for real, it was so amazing. Um, And it was good. We did miss the Super Bowl. Um, So, shout out to those who watched the Super Bowl. Shout out to them. I heard the halftime show was... Fucking lit. I'm so mad I missed that. I ain't see it either. I missed it. I'm so as mad. Fuck. I like I was yeah. mad, but Mary like as me. relaxed as I was, it was like I feel like anybody who had an okay Valentine's Day ain't see that shit. Like, yeah. yeah. And then we were downtown and we went to after the massages, we came back and we went to this little lounge restaurant place. Mm. And it's really cool. It gave me like U bar vibes, oh. but like gotcha. without U bars fucking nasty ass hospitality. Oh. Because for those who don't know, I'm always trashing U bar because every time I've ordered from Nia, went there or whatever, it's always been a problem. So Fuck y'all, oh, respectfully. Respectfully. Um, respectfully. But it was a definite, it was a like a U-bar vibe, minus the fucking bowl. You understand what yeah. I'm saying? Like, it was really cool. The food was okay. Um, yeah, so I, I definitely enjoyed myself That's and I'm carried so myself to work I'm on so Valentine's happy. Day. <laughs> but we still had a good Literally. time. I'm happy. Like, you- how was your Valentine's? How was y'all Valentine's? Because then you oh, have two. I knew you was going to go there. Okay. Hey. Because oh. last time we were speaking, <laughs> she had two Valentines. So how the fuck that work? Okay. Two of them. I right know the story. Time. So. Okay. But so. For the viewers. Like. Talking to the mic. <laughs> okay. So there was this, this girl that I was talking to. And um, long story short, she was like, we talked about poly relationships like beforehand. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. then she like, kind of like organized it because I right. kind of like put it out there like hey if you find somebody that I'm right. with then so she found a girl what it is and all of a sudden she's hey. like but I was just joking but I was serious but joking so mm-hmm. like I wasn't she like, wasn't saying really go find this chick and she did so and you know it was all cool mm-hmm. at first but it just didn't um go Uh-oh. in the way that you expected yes because i feel like honesty is a big thing with me mm-hmm. and i feel like you got to be straight up and forward with me so if mm-hmm. you're not straight up and i start putting two and the math wasn't mathing on us right. like a lot of different things that was just being expressed right so i know right. right but i did have a good valentine's day that's like, good though how was yours miguel yeah 
I won't say it was it was complicated. No, um, no, no. This nigga always got some complications. How always. Because I told you, like I said, I live in different. I used to live in different cities, but I just took that time to kind of relax and get myself adjusted. Because there was some people that was here and some people that flew out of town, so I was just like chilling with family, pretty much. For my so Valentine's. you stayed with family so you could duck the bitches. <laughs> That's basically what you did. It's cool. He ain't gonna say it. I am. Mm-hmm. Rich, how was your Valentine's Day? I mean, I was my, spending some time with family. Mine was dope. Um, Love. Love. Okay. Still going with that? You said what? Mine, I them. said mine was dope. You know, um, I made it special for my daughter. You know what I'm saying? I also made. Is that right? It is. Damn, I said disrespectful. Um, I cook. I cook. You know Ooh, what I'm saying? What you cook? Um, Man, I don't know if you saw on my page. And <laughs> oh, his, uh, my oh, he, he's doing the post. It was like crab skills. legs. It was uh, stuffed tilapia now. with crab Ooh. meat. It was um, salmon. It was scallops. Oh, you it did was, a seafood uh, dinner. Oh yeah, all the way, all the way. And in. you didn't tell me. It was, it was, That's it was, all I eat. Yeah, it was a whole. It was anything seafood that you could think about. Oh, we got no, some we gotta competition. Do this yeah. over. Going across yeah. We gotta do this over. Some competition. It wasn't even no room for no rice or nothing. It wasn't. The only, only side was like asparagus. That was it. That's all you need. I love asparagus. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So and did my, you give my daughter, what you gave? My daughter give? had, uh, my daughter, she said she wanted a dog, but, you know, I ain't time for that. So I got, I got her like a really, 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 really nice dog teddy bear. Right. Lit. Oh, yeah. um, Lit. So. <laughs> and then you said substitute. And she, uh, you know, she went, I, I, got, I, I just went in on like all the little <laughs> Valentine's Day chocolates and right. stuff like that. So she was, you know, she was just, because she thought, she thought Valentine's Day was the second Christmas. For some reason. Oh, okay. Yeah, because she, she was like, this. she said, well, I want, she kept telling me, <laughs> right. I want a new bike, I, I want a dog, I want that. I said, listen, it's not Christmas. Right. Then she going she gonna, to uh, tell her, her mother, like, well, she was like, you crazy? You get anything you want on Valentine's Day. Right. I said, it's not Christmas, though. Don't think mm-hmm. that. Right. You know? So, see, he spent it with family. See? I mean, see, yeah, my, my, my girl and my daughter. Right. Exactly. Yeah. This this girl, girl and the daughter. And the daughter. Yeah. See? Right. You I'll were with salute. family. family. <laughs> salute. Right. Like, but, yeah. Salute. So, definitely, I want to get into our cheeks of the fucking week. Cheeks of the week. she's Woo! sitting over there. And I'm just like, Ooh. So we gonna need who we gonna rotate. So See? yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me let well, her set up there. Yeah, should we have Mr. Curry come on and yeah. just introduce? Because he did. Let him come on and yeah. Yeah, so. We gotta do that. So yeah, it's only right it's only for right. season three. <laughs> we gotta mr curry coming back in for another time it's the yes, fucking t-shirt sir. for me do y'all see this man oh, t-shirt just no i like words. i like that shirt i need that t-shirt just watch out the thing Uh-oh. oh my god he gonna make shit fall <laughs> i think it was me when i stepped out yeah moving too fast yeah. don't touch it don't touch it don't touch it it's no, fine touch don't it. touch it thank you all right so so there we go, Mr. back Curry. in again, Mr. Curry. Yes. Do what it does, your big cuz that hey. fool Chris Curry. You know what I'm saying? Say it all together. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, like sir. Y'all need to squeeze in a little more. Just yeah. like when you say it's pillow talk with skills, man. It's all one thing. All one thing. There we go. Yep. So definitely, when we mentioned about doing cheeks of the week, this guy was like, "I got you," and I <laughs> Off was the like. Rip. Okay, so I think he's, he was he's ready. serious. He's he knows. Like this nigga hit me and was like, "Yo, sis, so um, we this still doing that season <laughs> three, <laughs> right? All time. right, what were we doing? I hit him first, right? You know, man, and I hit he you. Did so that. He, he did definitely that. did, and he was on it. So definitely, this is your time and your moment on what? Pillow Talk with Skittles, where we actually now have cheeks of the fucking week. So yes, shout sir. out to Crip Curry for bringing up che- cheeks of the week, and I want. To introduce you our got. cheeks of the week, please. Oh my god, yeah, talk, go. talk, 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 I ain't gonna lie, like young man, I'm a little slick, but it's that <laughs> cool, <laughs> curry. Follow me on anything and everything, and make sure. You subscribe to the OnlyFans, same name, B-A-T-F-O-L-C-R-I-P-C. Oh you plug everything in. And while we're here, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Two Mill Cola brand. Tap in like that, pack in the shop. Do that. Drop. BK Exotics, you know what I'm saying? Tap in like that, pack in. Do Uncle that. Uncle Smoke Dispensaries, you know what I'm saying? And shout out, Girls Go Nuts for Gold Nuts. Gold Nuts, the new brand I just Girls got an ambassador for. So, for you know, gonna get this motherfucking money. But anywho, that anyways, we had black. Gold nuts. Oh, yeah, Gold, gold nuts. nuts. It does sound intriguing. Don't worry, I got you, I got you. 
Jeez. I just want you know. Season three. Okay, Season I'm gonna tell you real quick. I'm gonna tell you real quick what Gold Nuts is real quick. Go Gold ahead. Nuts is like the male version of Summer's Eve. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh. like you know how well, it's man, like the man feminine wise. This is for the real it's niggas. This is, this is for the real niggas that's pushing P. This is for the type of nigga that when he comes somewhere, he sends his mitts on the table for everybody. You know what I'm saying? Everybody. You feel me? This for like real player pimp, gangster max shit. You know what I'm saying? I wanna know what it smell like now. Mm. Go hey, nuts. Hey, hey. Mm. Go nuts. Shout out to Nah, definitely I'm gonna need some of that. Paying like they way, you know what I'm saying? I'm a brand mm. ambassador for all these companies, you know. That's but, what's uh, up. And that's really all I gotta say, but yo, know, shout out to y'all for giving me this opportunity. We just networking, tapping right. in like that pack in and using all our abilities <laughs> and putting them on this chessboard, putting all the pieces in the right places. That's Facts. all we're doing. Mm -hmm. And that's all y'all got to do. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? But yep. anywho, anyways. Uh, and I just want to make something clear. And I, of course, always, you know, I just got to say my piece. Because, you know. All the time. It's just, for platform. one, I definitely want people to know that regardless over what you doing or what you got going on, that motherfuckers could come together and work together on yep. shit. Because for one, for all that know, he's fucking Crick Curry because he's a Crick. And mm -hmm. I am Skittles, and I am definitely a gang member, and I am blood, and I love Big it, blood, okay? Shit. So I just want y'all to know, for all of those that's out there and mm -hmm. think that, oh, my God, they they this, or they that, and they this. Let me tell you something. A lot of picture. people that you kick rocks with, then bids with, did all of that, will not support what this shit that on. you really got going on. You understand? Very few out of the people that you may roll with or bang with or do whatever are really going to support you in something positive. So as you see us sitting up here and we working regular. together and this is stuff that we doing, I just want y'all to know that if we could do it, y'all could do it. Thanks. So it's too much unnecessary other shit going on out here, you Especially understand? Now. With people losing their lives and if I think we come together more and make more useful with our time and our resources together, if we could do a little something different. So I just wanted to put that part out. There. Hey, so out. back to you, my nigga, because I want to see some cheeks. Yeah, the cheeks. Yeah, I'm here, I'm here. Cheeks, cheeks, cheeks. the way. Shout out to the establishment. Shout out to Rich Mo. Shout out to Skittle. Shout, shout out to, out to you, Miguel. Shout yes. out to everybody yeah. here in the building right now. And everybody tuning in and tapping in. Like, back in. I got my shine. I got mine. So I ain't even got to say nothing to say no more. I'm going to let her introduce herself and do her thug thizzle. Come on up, baby girl. Yes. Yes. Hey. And she go black like a thief in the night. You want her in the middle or you want her? I want her one? right next to me. Big facts. Right here. Oh, 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 right here. Y'all know me. Y'all know y'all was not coming up here with cheeks and y'all wasn't gonna put them next to me. The fuck? Come on. Get your seat warm. Let's go. First of all, let's get in front of the backdrop and uh and let's see them cheeks. Yeah, uh-huh. Turn around. Inspect them okay. cheeks. Oh, so they soft. They All right, they shake. She got the cuff right there. Can we get there. that mic out the way? That's that's how you. That's where the butt, like right there. You see the cuff right there? Well, let's turn sideways a little to the left. Sideways. That way. We gotta see the. Oh, there we go. There we go. Just gotta see how it protrudes. Right I'm not over there, so I gotta, you know. Right. right. So go ahead, stand down for a second. Go ahead, come on. Mm -hmm. So please, go ahead, get your headphones. So, whose cheeks are these? Because they was nice. Ah, <laughs> these are Marty cheeks. Marty, yes. okay. So, Marty from where? Tell me. I'm originally from St. Louis. I just oh. moved down here to Atlanta. Yeah. Oh, so you fresh cheeks. Yes. Okay. Fresh cheeks. Uh -huh. So, Rain. what brought you here? Um, I'm a model. Oh, what do you do? What do you model for? Fashion. Okay. Uh, everything, yeah. That's cool. So, what, what do you... What, what have you done so far? Like, how has it been modeling and all of that stuff out here? Well, I'm fairly new to it, but I did some um, stuff with some friends. Okay. And stuff like that. Did a few designers. So. Oh, all right. Yeah, well, definitely welcome to Alina. We're the play is play. Hey. hey. Every day. I don't know the middle part. My bad. I'm not from Alina, but... Um, yeah, but no, definitely. That's definitely dope. I hope everything works out for you, Absolutely. you know, with being out here. Where do you work at right now? 
Well, I work, work, work from home. I'm okay. Close, but I'm still, you know, finding some gigs and okay. meeting new people, connecting. Right, like yeah. definitely. Right now. She the fuck outside. That's what the fuck she's doing. All away. And it's about to be summertime, so just because she light-skinned and she fine, keep y'all niggas the fuck back because she need to get her shit together, okay? Don't come yeah. here and try to taint her and give her them toxic ass dick and shit. We don't need none of that, right? So definitely let them know your Instagram. For sure. Instagram for number four ever E V A Marty underscore. And is it M A R T Y? Yes. Okay. For Make sure, sure y'all go and follow Jeez. her. Absolutely. And definitely. Yeah, definitely do that. Right. Anything y'all want to know about the cheeks? I touched them. You did? Yeah, they were soft. They were soft? They were soft. And then it's cute because, like, remember when we had 2K Fousey? Shout out to my boy 2K. Uh, 2K. When he was here and he did the song Little Booties Matter, like, she doesn't have the big, like, gigantic you know. butt, but it's butt. It's like, yeah. and it's shape yeah. and it's natural. Yeah, yeah. And she got the cuff. You know how some girls have, like, Curry butt, approved. but no cuff? No cuff, right. Like, I even see bitches, like, when they they go and get lipo they fill the ass up so much that the butt don't even drop so there is no cuff so no like cuff they got the round. diaper booty yeah. like it'd be like the little like you know what i'm saying it looked like a point like yeah. it's coming in like, exactly yeah it's not that's not it's cute. not it's not that's not, not that's not the case. not at all not so it. definitely you got some nice cheeks and you Thank cute you. how do you i'm 26 Oh, she's still young. Oh, she yeah. outside. You got kids. I have a son. That's cute. Yes. Don't don't fuck with her, y'all. Let her let her get her shit. Together. Atlanta. Don't Atlanta. Make her another baby mama, y'all. Atlanta. No, not needed right twice. now. Let this one live, Atlanta, let please. Her live. Let, let her get her, her shit right. All right. Let her live. But no, Atlanta, Atlanta, chew you I'm up, spit you out. To see more from you, definitely keep in tune with us. Stay in contact with us. You know, and yeah, any definitely. event. You know, we may have, we always may need events. those cheeks because you are pretty as fuck, girl. So we be me. going places, Rich, no. He'd be like, come on, pull up the KOD. Hey, yes, just yes. let me know. Yeah. Yeah. So me definitely, know. you know, yeah. we can definitely use that face and them cheeks, okay? Hey, whatever you think. Got you. Yes, but yes. the rest of y'all are the fuck off limits, all right? <laughs> yeah. So I just wanted to ask a question. Speaking that we were bringing our new cheeks, you know, other week thing up here so for tea time i just wanted to know what do you guys like really prefer when it comes to like ass like do you like big ass round asses asses with hips ass without hips jiggles cuffs no cuffs like what what really what grinds y'all gears uh me personally i like I like I like ass, you know what I'm saying? Big mm. ass. Well, yes. Like but donkey ass. No, 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 no. Because no. <laughs> there's a the difference like, of donkey, asses. Yeah, like all the way to the yeah. Ass. Well, For real. this is what I'll say, right? I'm, and see, when you're a connoisseur, oh, it's like the size. Shit. The size doesn't really matter. It's a lot of things you pointed out that 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 reigns true. Cuffs matter. Mm -hmm. You know, the the, the, the texture matters. You know, um, whether whether it's soft or not, how does Stripes. it how does it jiggle? Mm -hmm. I've seen some really small butts that jiggle. That was crazy. me. Like when I was you know younger, I, mean? I never I was never fat like this. Like I didn't even have all of this butt <laughs> thighs rolls. I didn't even have these titties to like two yeah. three years ago. Like mm -hmm. real shit. But let me tell you something. I was always skinny, flaquita. I always had flaquita. the gap in between my legs, hips, and cuff. Like, yeah. and that was like the everything everybody wanted everybody i had like the, the bottom cup. booty that's all they wanted to do was just like hold it and yep. i was like what the fuck but i never got it and then i got older and then i started grabbing bitches asses and, and you, you start saying the cuff, yeah, like, the, the cuff, the cuff so means real. a lot like, yes so you like big jiggly booties i like nice jiggly. yeah nice jiggly nice nice you know do butts with life but i'm not gonna do it. you ask this question i'm a hell Oh, you okay. said I'm in here. Hold on, you ask this question. I'm in here. Hold on. So, what you wanna? You, what type of booties you like? Cause you, your wild ass. Yeah. Yo, uh, and this nigga got only fans, so I could imagine what the fuck. Well, he about this, to say. This, this, this is cheeks of the week. Right. And this is the first. You know what I'm saying? We had a little pre cheeks of the week with China Monet. Shout out to China Monet. Shout out to China Monet. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So, but this is the official right here. Raw her in here. Right. Mm -hmm. We know who always in here. We look at the cheeks right there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So stand oh, up and show cheeks your not. cheeks of the week real quick. Oh. Cause you cheeks of this week every hey. week. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Week. We gonna do this right or we gonna do it. You wanna know what kind of booties that bull crib oh. like? I'm gonna show you, hold up. You said I'm gonna oh, show you what kind of booty I like. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you 
know. Right, 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 right. And you got on the right there pants. And first of all, let me just let y'all know that I'm stepping outside the box because you know I'm a big girl, so I got two stomach: the stomach above the belly button and the stomach under the belly button. So I normally don't wear like the short shirts, but then I was like, this shit cute. And you killing it. And you killing it, bitches. And I don't give a fuck. So yeah, y'all gonna see my stomach, so y'all can kiss my ass. But that brain is so disrespectful. So, when it rain outside, you know what I'm talking about. Look at sure them cheeks. cheeks. I'm looking at them cheeks. Week. This is straight this stunt. Is... I've been looking at these cheeks for ten years ten, plus. A decade. You, know you heard that? Saying? You said I've been looking at these cheeks for ten years. Ten years. Oh, a decade. There we go. Natural cheeks. She's doing the whole walkthrough. Yeah. She's giving me a walkthrough on the vehicle. Now, 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 now. now. We gonna keep it going real quick. Brandon Bass, no two mil. What's up? Come here, real quick. Uh oh. Uh oh. We got more cheeks. They gotta see the cheeks. We got more cheeks. They wanna know what kind of cheeks that will quick come like. I got a CDs. Well, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Hold on, wait, wait. You can't do that. That was too fast. That was too fast. This is cheeks of the week. First cheeks of the week. No, 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 no. Shout out to two mil. Shop two mil. Move over. Excuse me. Go back to where you was at. You gotta catch you on camera. The people gotta see. Okay, now you turn around. Three sixty. Turn around so they can see what's going on. Yeah. Shop two mil. Cheeks of the week. We got three Strong, cheeks today. Beautiful black woman. Did y'all? Yes. Now, now, you know what I mean? Now, 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 now. We got gray over here in these sweats over here. Pull up real quick. <laughs> natural Come booty. On. This is all natural Yo. booty. Pull yeah. up. Y'all yeah. want to know what kind of booty that bull curry like? Nah. Natural booty. Natural the booty. Whole... Over there. Natural booty. You got to back up so they can huh? see. Huh? She don't know what to do. <laughs> you don't know what to do. <laughs> Oh, oh God! Like, what's happening? Right, you know, my thing on. with her is she's bow legged as fuck. Bow legged as fuck. So I know her slim ass takes some dick for real, for real. Well, no, not well, anymore. Well, she doesn't do like, that. Yeah, my bad. Yeah. If you did, you, she would take it. My thing to say is, we got more. You know we got, got more. Okay, we got more. We got more. She jumped up. This is cheeks of the week. Move over. Move over. I got a beautiful Back up. Back up. Hey, you gotta back. You gotta back up. You gotta come to the stage over here. Come to the stage. Come to the stage. We gotta make sure we. Get Please come to the stage. Page one hundred and one. First week. Turn around. Go ahead, best friend. All right, turn around. There we go. All right. So the whole you know, room. Queen, you can get over here too now. Flooded. Yeah, uh oh. There we go. Come saying. on. Flooded. Come on. Hold on, hold on, cause I'm almost done. I'm gonna leave y'all alone. I ain't gonna steal the show. This pillow, the pillow talk with skills. Not crap pool. Flooded. I'm just here to. You know, man. There's, 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 this is only. This sales. is a various variations of booty. This is just. You know what I'm saying? It's very this, this is something amazing right here. They right. came up with a That's mind. The question you asked. See it, believe it, achieve yeah. it. This shit about to be crazy, so we got to do it right. We're going to do it right the first time. Yeah. But my thing is, I love all kind of booty. Mm. But right, exactly. In fact, the type of booty, y'all see who I brought with the first chicks of the week, man. Stand up. Okay. Right. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. Claim the booty. Yeah. Claim the booty. Yeah. Yeah. You say, you see who I bought? Yeah. Okay. Cheeks in the week. Definitely. We're going to do it right the first time. We're going to keep going. It's going to get bigger and better every yes, time. Yes, it is. It definitely oh. is. Okay. And, yeah. you know, Respectfully. We, about to, we about to get up out of here, you know? <laughs> right. I definitely wanted to just do a recap and touch certain bases with everything from season two. Um, Let you guys know season three is definitely going to be lit. We got so much new Super stuff lit. going on. Super next lit. week, make sure y'all tune in. Who we got, got my week? girl, Kiki in the motherfucking building. Like, I'm talking about baby. Like, I sat there and bust a few nuts to you. Like, <laughs> girl. And now, then wow. the fact that that's my homegirl is just like, when I be looking at her sometimes, I be like, damn. Like, do she know that? It's, I it's a few me? three. Can that's she? family. Huh? It's a few three. No, it's been more than three. Okay, because like, I said, I said it was a few three times, man, by like, 90. Like <laughs> 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 said, but definitely make sure y'all tune in next week. Tune I got in next my girl week, Katie sure. coming up here. And we got the chef. We got chef. a chef, Chef Tiny. She's going to be up here. So, a private chef. We gonna have so, we're going to do it food. like that. So, we're going to have a guest. I'm and then definitely we gonna have some, next week. See, oh, you, we, we doing this? We yeah, go. I mean. Yes. I can't wait now to next yes. week, friend. I mean, yeah, so yes. we definitely doing a lot of new things for yep. this season. Um, Are we going to announce the next next week as well? Or you want me to do that one? 
Which one? So we got um, after Cakey, we have Pony Capri. Oh, yeah, we do. We have Pony it's Capri. There's so many people coming on. Yep. It's nice. just like so crazy. And then we also have a different type of drinks for that episode, too. Mm-hmm. So Ooh We Drinks is going to be here. Yes. I don't know if you guys are familiar, but it's... Um, uh, he's a Simmons. Okay. So he's Angela Simmons' cousin. Okay. That runs the um, runs the whole business. So okay. I've been in contact with him. So he's gonna be bringing up some drinks um, the week after Cakey with See, Pony we Capri. We get food one week, drinks the next, next. week. We know got tongues next. coming out. We got all types of <laughs> shit. All that. Let me tell you, it's gonna be for lit than a motherfucker. Not and then, for nothing. Tune in, man. Not for nothing. Make sure y'all tune in to Pillow Talk with Skittles every motherfucking Thursday. Go down Everyone. the Black Ink Radio app because if you didn't, you're fucking up. So go do it right now. Before we get out of here, I want to sit there and thank my homegirl Nicole. Um, I met her a little while ago um, through a co-worker that was at my job. And she makes, like, the dopest, 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 custom everything. She does, like, ashtrays, grinders, all of that type of stuff. Um, I forgot her Instagram. I definitely don't remember her Instagram. But I'll make sure I'll put it in on the post. I said thank you, too. And, yes, like, she, we got, I got a black ink custom made so when y'all come up here now y'all can put your ashes in the goddamn ashtray okay <laughs> and um yeah she made me a pillow talk with skittles one and i love it so definitely thank out thank you to her and yeah make sure y'all tune in next motherfucking week and it's gonna be another fucking lit ass motherfucking week with your girl skittles of course only on pillow talk with skittles and <laughs> it's a motherfucking rat bitch, bitch. you're now tuned in to black ink